Nerdy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Jujutsu Kaisen chapter 152. So, in regards to Gage's health situation, make sure you stay to the end of the live reaction, which is going to be very short, um, because I'm going to read uh, what the editors have said and what Gage has said and compare it to what we've seen um, with, uh, with Daisuke Sensei of World Trigger and, um, how I think Jump should go about this. Anyway, last chapter of Jujutsu Kaisen, we saw Maki just destroy Noya. I was surprised that she beat Noya. Pleasantly surprised, but... Surprise, nonetheless. Anyway, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. After a battle to, um, to death, the Maki succeeded in uh, defeating Noya um, with a single blow. What is the fate of the Zenin clan? And this chapter is titled Perfect Preparation Epilogue. Mother, no, stay away. Mother, please, li uh, listen. Why? Why did you... Back then, why did you ask me to come back? What? What is this about? Uh, no! No! Please, no! Dude, Ma Maki looking like a badass. Look at this shit. She's coming in like a boss. I don't blame Mama for being scared. Oof. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. -coo. Didn't finish me off properly, that bitch! I'm... I'm actually happy that Noya is still alive. I can't believe I'm happy that Noya is still alive. But Noya is still alive. Ooh. <gasps> Mama got a knife! Woo! What? D -d -d I can't control my cursed energy! Nah, cause Mama stabbed you! In the back, you got backstabbed! Ooh! Backstabber! Backstabber! Ah. I'm glad I gave birth. Oh my god. I'm glad I gave birth to them. Aww. This is the complete opposite of Papa. Aww. Just like Gege is glad that he gave birth to this manga. My chan! That's why I told her not to go. I'll leave the rest to you. What are you going to do now, Maki-chan? Maki just walking away. On that day, six Hay and 21 uh, Kukuru squad members were reported missing and shortly found to have died of natural ca unnatural causes. No cursed energy uh, residue was found at the scene. Mm-hmm. Trace amounts of cursed energy from a cursed tool uh, could be detected from their wounds. Days later, the Gojo clan, the Gojo and Kamo clans proposed to Jujutsu headquarters the removal of Zenin clan um, uh, from uh, the three great families. The commissioners currently has the decision on hold. The last bow of the Zenin clan. Wait a minute. Gojo clan. Wait, what? So this... This situation right here has got to happen either during the calling game or prop or after because this says the Gojo keyword Gojo Clan. And remember, the Gojo Clan made up of one person, and that would be Sadaro Gojo. Woo! This and the Kamo clan. Mm. Man, this got to be after the calling game that this happens. Oh, man. Okay, so the next thing I got to do here is I got to read this, read the letter here from um, the, uh, from the Shonen Jump editorial department. 
to our readers. As always, thank you, thank you all for continuing to enjoy Jujutsu Kaisen. Due to Akutami uh, Senseki's cur um, current health conditions, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen will be on hiatus uh, starting next issue. Akutami Sensei was hoping that he could continue writing, but after discussing with the editorial department, we decided that it would be better for him to take a break um, for a certain period of time to recover his health. I swear to God, if that backstabbing scene was uh, was was Mama representing the um, editorial department, I will fucking die. Seriously. Um, we will inform you of Jujutsu Kaisen's return in future issues of Shonen Jump. We apologize for the inconvenience to our readers who have been uh, looking forward to this weekly series, and thank you for your continued support. This sounds very, very familiar. Very familiar. But... I'm going to continue with it. I'm going to read Akatami Sensei's letter, and then I'll give you my thoughts here. I'm like, I'm, well, then I'm going to tell you what happened with Daisuke Sensei of World Trigger, since people seem to have forgotten about it. From Akatami Sensei, the editorial department has been asking me to take a break from the series for a while now, but I've been holding off um, on answering because I don't feel the appeal of a weekly serialization of Jujutsu Kaisen without a fast pace. Shueisha, this is on you! This is on you! I also wanted to finish the story as fast as possible. This is, uh, oh my God. This, this is definitely, this, this is on. If, if the editorial department knew this shit, they, they should have just, oh my God. Oh my God. However, I couldn't make up for my lagging schedule compared to other writers by taking a single week break. Gage, do you have fucking, I'm guessing Gage drawing this himself. Oh God. Um, and I would be repeating the same thing if I don't, um, don't make up. Yeah, this sounds like Gage don't have assistance. So I decided to take the ed editor, um, department suggestion seriously this time. The break will last about one month. Mm-hmm. When I say I've been sick, I don't mean, um, I have a serious illness. My mental health is fine and, and normal, so there's no need to worry. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry for keeping everyone waiting. Once I um, once I return, I'll do my best to continue this weekly serialization. Okay, Gage. Just switch to monthly. Go to SQ for crying out loud. Just go to SQ. If you can't do the weekly serialization schedule, if you can't do it, just go to SQ. It sounds, oh God, in regards to Gay Gay's letter, I got to address this because this is really pissing me off. I'm sorry. It really goddamn is. It says here, I don't feel the appeal of a weekly serialization of Jujutsu Kaisen without a fast pace. And he wants to finish the story as fast as possible. Man, man, it really sounds like, it sounds like Gay Gay is just, is not feeling it right now and he needs he first of all he needs time to get inspired he lo he's lost his joy he has lost the, the I don't know uh, what if it's that or what uh, like just something's going uh, something else going on here something else going uh, this this weekly schedule is killing him it is Giga, you, you got to get some assistance or something. You got to get some assistance. The other thing is, what it seems to me, uh, well, un, he's lost his inspiration and his spark. He lost his spark. The other thing is, is that, man, you want to rush, the, when you're telling me you want to rush the story like this, that really breaks my heart. That does if you feel like that you that a weekly serialization of Jujutsu Kaisen without a fast pace you don't see the appeal of it 
That is a huge red flag. Bro, Jujutsu Kaisen is the best-selling manga right now. Go switch to monthly. Go to SQ. Go to fucking SQ. Seriously, this is really starting to piss me off. Okay, now in regards to Daisuke Sensei, I have to mention this because this is fucking real. So, in regards to Daisuke Sensei, um, what happened with him was uh, way back, starting way back in 2014, um, and this is when uh, World Trigger was weekly, he developed, um, and we've seen this with Mangaka in the past, um, he developed some serious, uh, neck issues. Uh, he, um, oh my God, he developed, um, uh, he got like a pinched nerve. Um, he had, uh, uh here's the correct term for this cervical, uh, spondylosis, which is wear and tear on, uh, on, uh, the neck or basically he developed arthritis. Uh, that's another word for this. Um, and he was taking, um, uh, and also it says, and he was, oh God, I'm just going to read this right here. So Daisuke Sensei was taking one week breaks back, starting back in se September. Um, well, the first one started in September, 2014 to treat the nerve roots, um, affected by cervical spondylosis, AKA, you know, arthritis, um, with, and wear and tear on the neck of the spinal column or the nerve roots of, um, you know, neck area, the spinal column, and, um, was also taking, um, when we breaks, um, due to sudden, sudden illness, um, you know, uh, probably in relation to that. I think it was in relation to that, if I remember correctly, um, before the long hiatus, before it got really serious, um, in 2016, um, and people didn't know if Daisuke was going to come back or not. No. And we didn't know if World, World Trigger was going to come back. But in 2018, World Trigger came back. And um, for, uh, a few, for a few weeks, um, well, I should say for a few months, um, we were getting weekly cha uh, chapters of World Trigger. And... Then, um, let's see. Yeah, it was, what was it? Five. Yeah, it was for five issues, um, in weekly Shonen Jump, uh, after, uh, Daisuke Sensei came back and then switched to, um, the monthly jump, uh, SQ in, uh, in December of, tw of, uh, 2016. Or, sorry, what was it? Sorry, it was, uh, wait. Yeah, it was, uh, in December. That's what it was. It was, uh, the, um, the December of, of that year. It, it resumed. It switched to jump, uh, SQ. So, and I remember when it went on hiatus, that long hiatus, it was something similar that we got in terms of statements and all that shit. And, uh, oh, I got to mention this too, because this was, this was unbelievable because poor Daisuke Sensei. Oh God. So back in 2019, I was scared, scared. This is what I mean by Daisuke. Um, um, cause I've been saying, to people in various comment sections that Daisuke Sensei nearly died. Yeah, Daisuke Sensei nearly died because um, he had internal um, obstruction complications from uh, from gallbladder removal surgery. Yeah, it, it was bad, but luckily he survived. They got it in time. But I see people, the reason why I have to even mention this shit is because I'm, I've seen people saying in like various, uh, comment sections and on Twitter and on YouTube saying, Oh, Shonen Jump learned its lesson. Um, after Kentaro's death, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Lo, 
Daisuke Sensei, do you not do you not remember what happened with Daisuke Sensei? Shonen Jump is if your manga is very popular, especially like with World Trigger or with Hunter Hunter Hunter, of course. Um, they're extremely accommodating. I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. Seriously. Um, I mean, look, Tagashi is the best example of this. Tagashi has severe back problems. Tagashi's stubborn as shit and won't hire assistance. <sighs> Tagashi, you need to get someone to draw. Because the storyboards are... There's... The storyboards are done. He just needs to get them drawn. Fucking Takashi driving me nuts. Um, oh, God. But seriously, based on what I'm seeing here, based on what I'm seeing here, seriously, Shonen Jump. Or I should say that, seriously, Shueisha, just have Gege switch, especially based on what Gege is saying, switch Gege to Jump SQ. Switch him to Jump SQ, because that will make it easier on him. He won't feel like he, he won't be, he won't be miserable. I feel like Gege, based on what Gege said, he seems like he's miserable right now. And I think if he's at Jump SQ do or um, he's if he's at Jump SQ doing monthly, I don't think he would be. I think he would be a lot better off. I, I do. If he don't, because the other option would be, and this would be if this is an extreme situation, um, like uh, uh, with uh, um, Hoshino, um, would be to go quarterly. But I don't think Ge I don't think Gege's situation like I don't think it's um. Like Hoshino, I think, and I don't think it's a, as a extreme as Daisuke Sensei, but because even before Daisuke Sensei went on that long ass hiatus, Daisuke Sensei and Daisuke Sensei was still doing weekly for World Trigger. Um, Daisuke was, you know, taking one week hiatuses, but. I'm really curious what you guys think. Personally, I think Gege needs to just switch to Jump SQ and do monthly. Just fucking do it, Shueisha. Just switch him to Jump SQ after he takes a break. And I think that would, uh, personally, I think that would be the best route to go. Because then, you know, then he can pace himself. He won't feel stressed. And... On top of that, I mean, then he could, then, you know, he won't feel like he, the need to rush the story. But that's my two cents. I'm very curious what you guys think. Do you guys think that based on what Gege is saying that he should just have switch to jump SQ? Like with what we've seen with, uh, with Daisuke Sensei, um, and do you, uh, are you worried? The other thing that I think might be going on is that this is, might be a precaution issue in regards to like maybe his back or his neck. Do you guys think that that could be a possibility um, as well? Um, or do you think this is just like flat out from overwork? I don't think this, this could be kind of related to Kitaro, but I don't think so. I think this is just more like in general, because we've seen this before with uh, with Horikoshi as well, um, and with uh, and with Oda, um, but I'm very curious on what you guys think and what do, what do you guys think um, in terms of what we got at the end of this chapter in regards to the um, what it said about the Gojo Clan. Do you guys think that means that uh, Gojo going to get released during the Calling Game? Or after, I think it's going to be during the calling game and shit's going to get even more fucked up. And I, I'm going to be excited if that's the case. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and um, want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more uh, Jujutsu Kaisen content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. Oh, it's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.